My name is Andy Seitz and I'm an assistant uh, professor of fisheries at the School of Fisheries and Ocean Sciences at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. A few months ago, Alaska Power and Telephone contacted me and asked if I'd be willing to do a fish catching study here. And uh, so we worked up a study plan, got everything approved by Fish and Game, and here we are in the Yukon River sampling fishes. We're using a, a fairly traditional method of catching fish in uh, freshwater systems called a fike net. Um, and so the, the, the methodology is well established, however we've had to refine and perfect it for the river. Fike nets are typically used in low flow situations and the Yukon is about as high flow as you can get in a freshwater situation. So what we have is a, a, it's a 4x4 frame with a conical net uh, uh, trailing the frame and then two 30 foot leads which funnel the fish into this frame. They swim through this conical net and then they, they uh, get trapped in a live box. So they're actually alive. There's a current refuge back there. The main fish we're catching are chum salmon smolts. We just started catching king salmon smolts. Or actually, they're fry. They're not uh, smoltifying yet. They're just um, small, about two inch uh, king salmon. And we also catch a host of resident species. We catch suckers, we catch uh, lampreys, which may actually be anadromous lampreys are swimming out to the ocean. And we're catching a lot of little tiny salmonids, which we don't know what they are because we need a uh, dissecting microscope to actually identify some specific features. What we're assessing here are the potential and realized impacts of a hydrokinetic device on the fishes. And so the potential impacts to, to assess those, we're looking at where in the river do fishes migrate, uh, small little salmon smolts migrate downstream. And so are the fish migrating in the middle of the river channel and are they going to swim through the turbine? Or are they migrating on the sides of the river and there won't be any interaction with the turbine? Um, and then the realized impacts are if they do swim through the turbine, are they getting whacked and killed or are they just passing through the turbine with no problems? When the turbine goes in the water, we'll start uh, doing net uh, netting off the back of the turbine itself and try and catch, see if we catch fish in the middle of the river channel and then we'll be able to do a comparison of the numbers of fish we catch outside of the turbine area and, and behind the turbine. We've been here for three weeks sampling fishes already and what we've learned is incredibly useful for designing future studies so this has really been tremendously beneficial for the entire state of Alaska.